Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freak out tag. I was tagged by Charlie at various altitudes so thank you very much and question one is the best book you've read this year. So I've chosen two favourites but they're very very different. Um, the first one is uh, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Uh, this book has been talked about quite a lot on booktube and I'm planning on doing a review for the whole series rather than just one book because I think it feels a lot like one story that's been broken down into three parts. Three farts. <laughs> um, it feels like a story that's been broken down into three parts rather than um, three different books I think to me so I want to review the series as a whole. And my other favourite that I chose was The Unseen World by Liz Moore. This book just blew me away. I didn't really go into it expecting to like it so much, I thought it would be quite dense. Um, it's about a girl whose father starts to have uh, memory problems and is diagnosed with Alzheimer's and it's just this really amazing journey and you really get to feel for all of the characters involved and there's lots of really cool sciencey stuff and the ending, I did not see the ending coming at all. So this book I really really recommend, uh, it was a very emotional read um, and I, yeah, I really didn't expect to like it as much as I did so those two are my favourite books so far this year. Question two is the best sequel you've read this year? And I've only actually read two sequels this year and uh, one of them's won the uh, most disappointing book on this list. So the other one is, of course, N.K. Jemisin's The Overless Gate. This is a continuation of the fifth season um, and it was really good. It just it expanded on everything that we know about the world. The characters are learning and we're learning with them. It brought in a new point of view, um, the main character's daughter, Nassan. And she was amazing. Um, and I'll talk about her a bit more later. So yeah, this is my ooh, favourite sequel. Um, question three. Is a new release you haven't read yet but want to? Um, I've chosen two for this one as well. One of them I have. It arrived yesterday and I'm very, very excited for it. It's called Hell Saints Die by Carmen Marcus. Sounds like it's a blend of storytelling and old folklore and uh, mental health and... I really don't know what to expect from this book except I'm expecting to really really love it. Um, the other new release that I haven't read yet but do want to is Ash and Quill by uh, Rachel Kane. Uh, this book I'm a little bit hesitant about because uh, I really loved the first book. The second book I didn't like so much and Ash and Quill is the third part of a trilogy. and. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm really hoping it will kind of come round to it in itself and it will be as good as the first book but I feel like the editing has got a bit sloppy so I'm a little bit um I'm hoping it will be good anyway and I still do really intend to read it. I haven't actually seen it anyway yet though so um that one I'll be hanging on for. Question four is the most anticipated release for the second half of the year. And I've chosen three books for this because I think it's impossible for me to choose between these three because they are all so widely different, they are all uh, different genres and one of these books I've been waiting for for a very long time. So, and the other two are by authors that I really, really love. So I can't choose between them so I'm just going to list them off. Um, the first is Tin Man by Sarah Women. I've loved every single one of Sarah Women's books so far. Um, she's just got a really beautiful writing style and she really kind of slows down her plots and gets really deep into character and I really love that kind of a book. So Tim Mann, so far the reviews that I've seen for her have been overwhelmingly positive and I'm so looking forward to this book which I think is out soonish, in a couple weeks, I'm not sure. Um, the uh, next book is uh, The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman and I'm sure half of Booktube is also very excited about the release of this book. It's a trilogy that runs alongside the original series uh, His Dark Materials and uh, I have no idea what to expect from that either. Um, I got a little pamphlet somewhere uh, that had the first chapter in I think and that was really intriguing and I want to know more and I'm so hyped for this book, I can't wait for it. So. 
Ah, yes. The third bit that I've chosen for this um, question is Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin, of course. Uh, it's the third part in, I've just shown you the first two books, it's the third part and it's coming out in mid-August. So, ah. Question five is the biggest disappointment that you've read this year. Oh, and this one was quite hard because I really, I really did expect a lot from this book. Um, I loved the first book. Um, this is The Ship Beyond Time by Heidi Helig. I was really underwhelmed by this book. Um, I loved the first one in the series. This is actually the second part in a duology. Um, the first one is The Girl From Everywhere. And I really hoped this book would take us a bit more deeper into some of the characters, and in some ways it did, but very predict predictably. And I think when I'd finished this book, I did give it four stars originally because um, it is very well written, I think it's well researched, I just don't think she did as much as she could have done with this book, I think, and I have a really big issue with the villain she chose and how she wrote him. Um, I did a whole review for this book that is very very rambly so I will stick that down there and you can watch that if you want to. Um, but yeah, uh, this book disappointed me in a lot of different ways and the more I think about it the less I think of it. Uh, which I think is a sure sign of my disappointment. So currently it's at three stars. I have debated about two stars. So uh, this this has not been a great read for me, unfortunately. Uh, question seven is the biggest surprise. Um, this one really, really surprised me. It's The Huntress Sea by Sarah Driver. Um, I just saw this one in Waterstones, picked it up, read the blurb, and I was like, I know this book. And it turns out that this author is a friend of a friend and um, both of those people were on uh, the MA course when I was in my third year at university. The MA course, they produce a sort of anthology of work they've been working on throughout the year. Um, and I think it's something to do with uh, garnering interest from publishers and agents. I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. But I picked that up and I do remember reading it. And this was one of the stories in it that I really, really loved and really wanted to read more of. So it was such a surprise to find this one in Waterstones. Suddenly, oh my gosh, it's been published. Question 7 is your favourite new author. I think this has to go to N.K. Jemisin because I, I'm so hyped for her books. I'm just like, huh, and I think she's the only person that I've read this year where I've read more than one of her books, so she has to win that one. Question 8 is nearest fictional crush. I think this is the point I realised that this tag was actually probably created for people who talk about YA books. So. I don't, I don't have a fictional crush. Question 9 is nearest favourite character and I have to give this one to Nassen from um, the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. I think she was one of the best additions to book 2. Her point of view is so very different from what I expected and I could really empathise with her and her relationship with her father actually really struck me emotionally. Um, I could see a lot of my own relationship with my father in that. and. I'm really really looking forward to see where she goes and what she does in book three so proper hyped for her yeah <laughs> question 10 is a book that made me cry and uh, I, I don't really cry at books uh, there's very there are a few books I have cried at but they're pretty few and far between so I think I'll just go with the saddest book I've read and I think that has to go to Boy the Bird and the Coffin Maker. This one was another book I picked up because it's really really pretty, look, and it was just, it was very sad, it started off very sad, it's about a man whose whole family dies in a plague and he was a carpenter beforehand who made toys for children and after this plague he's just the coffin maker and a little boy comes into his life about 30 years later and changes his life forever and it's just, it's very sweet and it's very subtly um, about grieving processes so this was this was an interesting and very sad story question 11 is a book that made you happy um, and this was a hard one because um, I don't really know happy is such a I feel like it's such a vague emotion it's very temporary and very combined with a lot of different other things and I think I feel emotions in the kind of colory, weirdy, minglediness. So it's quite hard to pick out just happy. Um, but I chose To the Bright Edge of the World for this one because every time I read a book like this, I remember how much I love 
uh, natural history and nature writing and travel. Um, this isn't any of those things, it's actually fictional, but it's written in the style of those kind of genres. Everything just died. It made me happy, this one. I can't remember if I actually got that filmed or not. With question 13, favourite review you've written this year. I haven't actually written any reviews this year. Question 14, the most beautiful book you've bought this year. And that has to go to Letters to the Lighthouse by Emma Carroll. Just look how beautiful it is. Spectacular. And it's shiny. It's got like foiling. And even the back is pretty, all clouds and watercolour. So oh, I love this book. Um, and question 15. Uh, books you need to read by the end of the year. Um, I only have a few for this one. Um, I want to reread the whole Harry Potter series uh, this year uh, because I haven't actually read the book since I was a child and I think it'd be a really different experience to read them as an adult. Um, especially the later books as well because Harry has, Harry has always been older than me so it, it's going to be really strange to read them being older than him so I'm really looking forward to that I just got to actually do it which uh, I've been saying I'll do it for the last two years so this year must do it ah. um, the other book that I want to read is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood uh, there's a really cool series at the moment and I saw the first episode and I was like this is totally different to what I thought it was, so I really want to read the book first before I see any more of the series. Um, my housemate has also got this book, so we're hopefully maybe going to buddy read it together, which would be really fun. And we're good at talking about things and rambling, so yay! Um, and the last book that I want to read, just because it's been on my to-read list for so long, is Landmarks by, mm, by, Landmarks by Robert McFarlane. Uh, Farlane? Farlane? Uh, um, this book I've had on my to read list for forever. Um, I've actually got a signed edition. Yay! Um, and I love Mark Robert McFarlane's books. I've read several of his other books and I really need to read some uh, non-fiction this year. That was my goal at the beginning of the year and I think I've read one non-fiction book so far this year. So I'm doing really, really badly. <laughs> but this one is it's about language and it's about uh, words for nature and a journey around the UK and I think other places as well but looking at all the different words we use to describe nature and the things that happen within nature uh, slang other languages I think there's a lot of like garlic in here so and I'm really fascinated in those kind of things so it really should be a book that I should have read already um, but yeah <laughs> uh, so that's I think I think it yes that's it that was my uh, mid-year book freakout tag. Uh, I don't have anyone to tag because I think everybody I looked at to tag them, they've already done it. So uh, if you're watching this and you haven't been tagged and you do want to do this tag, then consider yourself tagged, okay? Go do it. And let me know when you've done it because I'd love to see videos for this thing. It's really cool. So yeah, if you've read any of these books or have any opinions yourself or um, have any beautiful covers you'd like to show me, I love finding beautiful covers, uh, please uh, let me know and I'd love to have conversations with you in the comments, it's great, I, I love that part of booktube. That's it from me, um, I should probably, yeah, I'm hoping my next video won't have this lighting issue because uh, we'll film it in the daytime, I'll make my housemate make me film it in the daytime. So, um, goodbye and see you in the future. Bye. Uh, I was tagged by Ta- uh, Oliver. From. Okay. Why are you making noises with me? And, oh my gosh, the colour is getting really bad. So, uh, that was my, uh, mid-year book freak out. That was my, uh, big- <laughs> Uh, so that was my, uh, big mid- uh -huh, I can't say it. My um, big mid mid the uh, big mid is not uh, answers and uh, I should stop rambling.